solubility of salts. This is the most important things that you need to memorize in this chapter and make sure, make sure that you memorize this. So if you want to know how to identify salts, again, okay, you must know solubilities of salt and how to prepare salt. Also, you need to know solubilities of salt. So solubility is the abilities of compound to dissolve in a solvent, huh? but uh, the the solvents that we mean here is the water. So when we, we say this salt is soluble, it means it's soluble in water, okay? So the solubility here, what, uh, what we mean is the solubilities in water, huh? okay? So it's the abilities of compound to dissolve in a solvent or dissolve in a water. The solubilities of potassium, sodium, and ammonium, huh? okay? So all the salt of potassium, sodium, and ammonium are soluble in water. Actually, all ionic compounds of potassium, sodium, and ammonium are soluble in water. Okay, so no matter what's, uh, what the salt it is, okay, as long as the salt of potassium, sodium, and ammonium that is soluble in water. For example, potassium nitrate, potassium chloride, potassium carbonate, potassium sulfur, whatever potassium, okay, uh, all soluble in water. Okay, and uh, all the salt of sodium also soluble in water. Sodium nitrate, sodium chloride, sodium carbonate, sodium sulfate, sodium sulfur, whatever, okay. As long as it starts from sodium, then it is uh, soluble in water. And uh, so does the salt of ammonium, okay? Ammonium nitrate, chloride, carbonate, sulfate, okay? All soluble in water, okay? I think there's uh, something wrong here. There's a mistake here, okay? Uh, that is the formulas of uh, ammonium carbonate. You're supposed to have a two here, okay? A two here, okay? So all the salt of potassium, sodium, and ammonium are soluble in water. So that is the very first things that you need to know and you need to memorize this, okay? As long as you see potassium, sodium, ammonium, then they must be soluble in water, okay? This, these are the salts, okay? Uh, the, the oxide and hydroxides of potassium, sodium, and ammonium also uh, are soluble in water also, eh? okay? Okay, as long as they start with sodium, potassium, and ammonium, they must be soluble in water. All sorts of nitrate are soluble in water. Okay, so as long as you see nitrate, uh, then uh, they are soluble. Okay, potassium nitrate, sodium, calcium, magnesium, aluminium, zinc, tin, iron, whatever. Okay, whatever nitrates, okay, uh, is soluble in water. So all the sort of nitrates are soluble in water. Okay. The third one, solubilities of sulfate. Okay, most of the sulfate salts, sort of sulfate, are soluble in water except what? Except lead sulfate, barium sulfate, and uh, calcium sulfate. Okay, so these are insoluble in water. Okay, examples. Uh, let me give you a few example. Like for example, um, potassium sulfate. Okay. Potassium sulfate. Okay, now potassium sulfate for sure. Okay, of course it's soluble. Why? Because it's potassium, right? Because all sort of potassium must be soluble. Okay. Uh, how about zinc sulfate? It's also soluble. Uh, iron sulfate, also soluble. Okay. Iron sulfate also soluble. Uh, tin sulfate, also soluble. Okay. Um, silver sulfate also soluble okay so all of these are soluble in water okay except what except lead sulfate pbso4 insoluble barium sulfate insoluble and uh calcium sulfate insoluble okay so these are insoluble okay and uh you see i have i have uh bowl okay the first letters of the symbol of these three elements huh? okay lead barium calcium so pbc that is uh that is to make you to remember easier okay the pbc for the sort of sulfate okay all solubers all soluble except what except pbc okay except pbc and p is the lead b is the barium and uh, c is the calcium okay now, of course, if you have your own ways to memorize it, then fine, okay? You can follow your own ways, okay? But I always use this to memorize, okay? Uh, so all 
the sort of sulfate are soluble except PBC. Yeah? So as long as you see uh, PBC sulfate, then they are insoluble. Others, other sulfate salts are soluble. Okay. Next one, chloride. Now chloride is about the same. It's about the same as uh, sulfate. Okay. Mostly soluble in water. The sort of chloride, yeah, mostly soluble in water, except what? Except lead, silver, and mercury chloride. Okay, and uh, the symbol is uh, Pb, Ag, and Hg. Yeah. So PAH. Okay, so uh, mostly soluble, except what? Except PAH. Yeah. Except PAH. Okay, so examples. Uh, so let's say we have sodium chloride. This is soluble. Zinc chloride, soluble, magnesium chloride, soluble, aluminium chloride, soluble. Okay, now aluminium also start with A, okay? So sometimes some students they confuse aluminium with uh, silver, AG, okay? So the A, PAH, the A is uh, silver, not aluminium. Eh? So aluminium chloride is soluble in water. So all of these are soluble in water. Okay, soluble in water, but uh, the lead chloride, lead, uh, sorry, silver, silver chloride, and uh, mercury chloride. Okay, so these three are insoluble. Does insoluble means they form precipitate? Yes. Okay, insoluble means that they are solid in a solution. Then uh, that is precipitate. Precipitate is a solid in solutions. Okay, so they will form precipitate. There's uh, some notes here, okay? Lead halide. You see, lead chloride is a lead halide. Yeah? Okay, we have halide. The halides, we have uh, we have chloride, uh, bromide, chloride, bromide, iodide, okay? So, lead halide, uh, like lead chloride, lead bromide, and lead iodide are insoluble in cold water but soluble in hot water, okay? Uh, then some student they ask, okay, since you say just this is a PAH insoluble, but then how about this one, okay? So late bromide, this is also the salt, okay, and then say insoluble. Uh, the salt of bromide and the salt of iodide uh, is not important in our syllabus, okay? It's not important, huh? but uh, anyway, you you are going to learn uh, this late bromide and late iodide when we learn identifications of the positive ions, huh? okay? There are one experiments where uh, we uh, uh, involve a lead iodide, okay? Lead iodides to identify the positive ions, okay? So uh, most of the book, they just give you this, okay? Yeah, but I think it's important for you to also know that for all the lead halides, they are insoluble in cold water, but soluble in hot water. Lead chloride, lead bromide, and lead iodide. Okay, insoluble in cold water but soluble in hot water. So that is the solubilities of chloride. And make sure that you memorize this. Eh? Okay, carbonate. Carbonate mostly insoluble. Now this is different from the previous one. Okay, previous for previous one for the sort of nitrate or soluble, sulfate or soluble except PBC, chloride or soluble except PAH. Okay. But this one, carbonate, mostly insoluble. Except what? Except potassium, sodium, ammonium. Okay, why? Because just now we already learned that all the sort of potassium, sodium, ammonium are soluble, right? Okay. So basically, all carbonate are insoluble except potassium, sodium, ammonium. And uh, that's because all the sort of potassium, sodium, ammonium are soluble. Okay. So for example, um, magnesium carbonate, calcium carbonate zinc carbonate okay whatever carbonate you name it okay uh they are insoluble except potassium sodium and ammonium eh? okay so these are insoluble okay and uh, for potassium carbonate sodium carbonate and ammonium carbonate are these are soluble eh? These are soluble, okay? And uh, 
it's also important for you to know the solubilities of oxide and hydroxide. Okay, oxide and hydroxides are not salt. Eh? Okay, but uh, it's important for you to know their solub solubilities as well. Okay, so for uh, oxides, most of the oxide are insoluble except potassium oxide and sodium oxide. So oxide like calcium oxide, zinc oxide, magnesium oxide, aluminium oxide. Okay, all of these oxide are uh, considered insoluble. Now, why I say considered insoluble, why I do not say sh straight away say that it's uh, insoluble, because the calcium oxide and magnesium oxide are slightly soluble uh, in hot water. Okay, these two are slightly soluble in hot water, but uh, uh, the solubility is very low. Okay, so you uh, if you put calcium oxide and magnesium oxide in, inside the water, okay, actually you can't see it dissolve. Okay, you can't see it. But actually, there's a small amount of it dissolve, but you can't see it. Okay, so uh, so we still consider it's insoluble, okay? They're in, uh, they are insoluble. Uh, but for uh, potassium oxide and sodium oxide, as I told you just now, all potassium sodium uh, ionic compounds are soluble, okay? So potassium oxide and sodium oxide, they are soluble. Okay, they are soluble, okay? And uh, hydroxide also, hydroxide, uh, most of the hydroxide are insoluble, except potassium hydroxide and sodium hydroxide, and ammonium hydroxide actually, okay? Uh, potassium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide, okay, and ammonium hydroxide, uh, okay, which is not given here. Uh, these are soluble, okay, these are soluble. Uh, others, other hydroxide like uh, calcium hydroxide, okay, this one is actually slightly soluble, uh, Zinc hydroxide, the solubility is very low but slightly soluble for calcium hydroxide, okay. Uh, iron hydroxide, okay. Uh, lead hydroxide, okay. All hydroxide, they are insoluble. So these are insoluble. Okay, so that is uh, solubilities of oxide and uh, hydroxide. Eh?